ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு த கிளாஸ் மை செல்ஃப் டாக்டர் அண்ட் பி எம் முகமது தாரிக் அஸ்டன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஃப் இம்பார்ட்டன் பயோடெக்னாலஜி இஸ்லாமிய காலேஜ் தமிழ்நாடு இந்தியா ஸோ நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டார்ட் பிளான் டிஎன்ஏ பர்கோடிங் பிளான் டிஎன்ஏ பர்கோடிங் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் ஏ very simple method it's more recent trends so first of all plants collection and uh, sample preparation then extraction of the genomic dna amplification of dna barcode then sequencing of dna barcode and finally analyze the dna so this is the best uh, basic method then plan it is a new biological tools plan dna barcodes application today and in the future dna barcodes have provided a new biological tools for biological biologist and understand the natural world there are many types of uh, markers are present now available in network net so basically the four uh, markers are available number one is rbcl and uh, mat k trnh psba and uh, ITS2 so these are all the marker and uh, the purpose of interaction network taxonomical discovery and assessing priority areas for environmental protection it is actually monitoring the investigation of sources it is a major challenges then dna barcoding seven easiest to one compared to animal that the animal is better than plants so plants barcoding marking markers genetic markers rbcl and mat k it is a major marker in the dna marking barcode okay actually what is dna barcoding in plants it means dna barcoding is a method of species identification the easiest dna form a specific gene or genes microorganism fungi etc it is a the same methods i already to two methods of species were identified in the plants aspect number one is fresh leaves and another one is herbarium that that means voucher so the two collection methods rbcl and mat k dna sequences then we are going to uh, fresh leaves fresh leaves means leaves flowers and buds it is easily typical dna quality and possible to barcodes it's excellent result in dna barcoding methods and another one is herbarium so dry leaves we know the very well for uh, herbarium process so dry leaves are present in chart so the that plants the species will take and the many individual at one location it's good for barcoding but it's not some lacking of coding process at the same time the wooden piece taken the sample collection 
hardwood and sapwood is there so hardwood is in the highly poor condition in bark coding method so this are that's better so this slide will showing the uh, fresh and uh, herbarium method okay we going to uh, angiosperms recommended or for chart so these are the steps um, acquire sample and extract the dna dilute the one to 10 ratio pcr sequencing rbcl method then clear the clean the successful pcr products and to continue the sequences so the finally 95% of mate case sequences are success rate compared to rbcl then selection of plan barcode selection of plan barcode from seven plasmid loci three were shortlisted so rbcl is a easy to use but modest discriminator is powerful and mad case higher discrimination and the coding is lower inversality and another method marker is there so it is good inversality it is also the length variable and the fragment determination so the selection of barcode from these loci was a close call and uh, there is no perfect solution majority of recommendation of the core barcode to coding rbcl and as well as medk so these are the more, most important one so process of generating and applying plant dna barcodes purpose of identification involves two basic steps are there so we can see uh, building the dna barcode library of known species and another uh, involves the second step is matching dna barcode sequence of an unknown sample against the dna barcode library so these are the basic steps the tools and technology required to support dna barcoding plans protocols and guidelines for dna extraction and sequencing of herbarium species continuously improved pcr and sequencing protocol for region rich in monoclonal repeated and finally enhancement of mini barcode for degrade and dna we going to materials and methods so first of all we collect the collecting the field of um, samples of any medicinal plant or um, endangered species whatever it is so first of all you put the field collecting then to so sample storage and then tissue sub sampling that means the sample stored you are in your own laboratory then it is a piece of sample that is called to sub sampling for dna extraction then you go to dna extraction simple based extraction commercial kit is a markedly available and non commercialized kit is also is there so dna extraction plate based uh, extraction kit dna extraction plate based extraction method so finally pcr mixer and this also continued in the methods then we are discussing the rbcl and the cat mat kit okay the general pcr mixer for rbcl that means a uh, regulose 15 by phosphate carboxylase so these are the uh, clear cut pictures uh, first cycle and second third and the pcr cycling method 
the compounds are there components the molecular grey water and the trace buffer and uh, etc the shock solutions are there final concentration volume and the 100 ml so are uh, clearly resolved that slide then another one is MATK that means methacaryocyte associated triosin kinase it is another one method so these are PCR except for uh, MATK method so earlierly we told um, same procedure for RBCL so MATK is told uh, some difference are there molecular grey water and trace buffer so all the chemicals uh, present in the PCR kit uh, the materials method will continue mm. PCR product determination pre-cost e-gel method and the PCR product determination routine agarose gel then you go to cycle sequencing and then also cycle sequencing reaction cleanup and the processing for the capillary sequence and finally the sequence editing is important the most important um, identified the some note is the the properly collected plant tissue is essential for maximizing pcr and sequencing success the proper collection of plant tissues is successful ratio the voucher means herbarium portion of voucher is fresh tissues so these are the most uh, selecting the plants tissues and uh, application of plant for coding the taxonomy is using the more number of benefits for DNA for coding particularly in the classification and uh, as well as so on the life scientists life science students and uh, researchers identification of study organisms and the conservationist assessment of threat required species delimination and uh, recognition so environmental managers environmentalists they are also the identification of harmful organisms and indicators of species like the legal aspect the barcoding is applied for forensics and wildlife crime illegal trade in biodiversity health aspect the identification of species and harmful attributes and finally utilization agriculture and uh, medicine such as identification of species with useful attributes and also horticulture purpose stock identification so these are all the field uh, of various field of application of dna barcoding so these are the genes uses plant dna so the left to fourth one is mac k barcodes and the right link fourth one is cbcl so these are the barcoding genes used and the final for example of barcoding cucumis genes the, the genus indian subcontinent center of origin of cucumber the cucumis sativus already we know the species the so center for diversity of melon the natural genetic basis for cultivated species were developed from closely related parents and genetic diversity morphology and molecular markers the recently comparison of dna sequences has been extensively used for to identify polygenetic relationship among the different plant species so finally we conclude we know very well for as a botanist plant identification is plant shrub or tree we can identify that method shrub or tree and uh, climbers etc and uh, leaf arrangement we study the 
particular plants we identified leaf arrangement alternate decussate so compound leaf leaf venation leaf margin so etc so many data we collected there is these are the method of those days earlier days that is called complex and the subjective now we have barcoding is simple objectives the finally a barcode dna barcode for land plan consortium for the barcode of life recommended to use the chlorophyll gene or bcl and a matk as universal plan barcodes so i conclude to complex method to simple method is dna barcode in future days and future generations